Uh, tennis star uh, Jennifer Capriotti is in the news because she is being accused of beating her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend Ivan Brennan. Now this is a really fascinating story because there are reports that she punched him and that he had to lock himself in the room to call the cops because he felt that she was a threat um, and uh, he, actually he locked himself in the men's locker room to call the police. And uh, so this is a really interesting story because when you talk about domestic violence it's always about the man hitting the woman and people take it very seriously and in this case it's a woman allegedly hitting a man and I feel like it's not getting the same you know treatment it's not being taken as seriously. Well I'm really glad that you brought this story up because yeah. that was my first reaction as well was to smirk and say oh yeah right he's probably what he's going after money or something he wants to sue her and you know mm. try to blackmail her or something for it but you know that, that that's my first reaction and that is because I have that I have to admit, I have that sort of predisposed disposition to say, well, when it's domestic violence, you know, a man can protect himself against a woman. You know, although Capriati is actually a pretty big athlete, pretty major athlete, yeah. so I can see where she would be uh, probably able to do some serious damage, you know. But it's it's an interesting way to say, oh, yeah, look, I have my own prejudices about that. Well, yeah. can, can I give the size of Jennifer Capriati? Yeah, I just looked that'd her be up. great. She's 5'7". Well, this is according to... They all know, and uh, I think it's Wiki. Um, five seven, 160. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's solid. She considers she's an athlete. I and we don't know how big her boyfriend is. The one uh, that's not that I don't know. She's 36 years old. That's, well, yeah. okay, so there's, you know, th there's the societal rule that men can't hit women, right? And, and even, even in self-defense, men, men can't hit women. So I think it's wrong when women, took, women take advantage of that and they hit... You, don't use physical violence, period. It's a serious situation. Men should not hit women. Women should not hit men. It's unacceptable. It's not allowed. In all circumstances, and yes, it's In true. all it's, circumstances. It's, there's and no right for her to do that. There's no right for a man to do that. So a woman, you know, it's, it's, unless it's in self-defense, but obviously this was not the case. And what I'm unclear about from this report, you know, is whether or not she's been stalking and harassing him. Because uh, one of the issues that was brought up in the report was that uh, uh, he, he was saying that he was going to make a complaint because she had called his work 50 times in one day when it was following her around. But then one of her friends apparently said that, uh, or one of his ex-girlfriends, I should say, complained that he had been stalking and harassing her. So there's a lot of he said, she said that goes on. There is here. a lot of he said, she said, and I, and I hope that this gets investigated as much as possible. And I hope that no one uh, fails to take this seriously just because it's a woman hitting a man. As I said, and I'll repeat it again, no one should hit anyone else domestic violence is a serious issue you know with an athlete like this as you said it's feasible that she could do serious damage oh, sure. so so I do hope that it's taken seriously and you know it's incredible when you hear stories like this and people smirk about it like well it does make you think about what your own predisposition you know predispos yes, definitely. predispositions are you know what you assume to be the case in most of these you know it's confirmation bias when you hear that you know oh it's a man who's attacked a woman in a domestic violence situation and this stands out because it is unusual but it does make you stop and think well you know why do we think that why it's is it It's because society has conditioned us to think that women are weak and they need to be protected and they can't do any damage they're not strong enough to do damage but in cases like this of course they're strong enough to do damage and you know they should face yeah. the same prosecution and that the a man same consequences would face. that a man would as well in that same situation so absolutely